Hi, balancing chemical equations is very important in all of your future chemistry work or most of your future chemistry work. This is the symbolic way to describe a change that is happening, a chemical change or even a physical change. On the left we have the reactants and on the right we have the products. Right, these are the reactants and these are the products. When the arrow is pointed in one direction, that means the reactants are forming the products. That means if you have some limited quantity of this stuff, that is getting consumed. It is disappearing. And you are making more of these things. So these things are appearing. These things are disappearing. But it's important for you to understand that uh, all the atoms have to be the same. Like you see this is a C, there's also a C over here. See this is an O, there's also an O over here. This is an H, there's also an H over here. Nature doesn't make new atoms in a chemical reaction or a physical change. Nature only rearranges the atoms to make new molecules or new ionic compounds or to break things apart into pure elements. So because of that, it is not just the case that the C has to be here and the C has to be here. The O has to be here, the O has to be here. The H has to be here, the H has to be here. But it's also the case that the numbers have to be the same. If you have one C here, you got to have one C here. If you have four H's here, you got to have four H's here. But you see here, I only have two H's. That means this chemical equation is a lie. It is not correct. It does not describe what nature is doing. You see there are two O's here. But here there are two O's and then one more O, a total of three O's. That means this equation is not correct. The, 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 the law of nature that these equations have to follow is called the law of conservation. Law of conservation of mass. All right? That's the law of nature that uh, these things have to follow. Um, there will be a time when uh, I will give you some homework specifically about scientific laws, theories, and hypotheses. But uh, for now, the law of conservation of mass is just the fact of nature that uh, you can't make new atoms. Like there's two O's here. There are three O's here. That's impossible. Uh, in a chemical change, you can't just get a new O from somewhere. No, it, it, it has to be from the reactants and it has to... Uh, just be a rearrangement that, that, that happens in the chemical change. So, how do we make this chemical equation accurate? This is how you do it. The only thing that you can do is uh, change the quantities of each thing, right? In chemistry, we call them species. This molecule, this is a species. This molecule, this pure element, this is a species. This is a compound, this is a species. This is a compound, this is a species. Everything separated by a plus sign in a chemical equation is called a species. All right, so this species uh, looks like we can have one of these and we kind of have one of these because there's one carbon here and one carbon here. But you see this species has four H's but this species only has two H's and there's no H's here. That means there must be two of this water molecule here. It must be two of this species. If, and then what about here? This is two O's here. There are two O's here plus two O's here. A total of four O's on this side. That means there must be two of this species so that there could be four O's here and four O's there. Now, this chemical equation is accurate. There's one, eight, one C, one C, four H's, four H's. Four O's, two plus two, that's four O's. Notice you cannot change the subscripts. The subscripts are part of the identity of the element or the, the, the molecule, right? You cannot change those. What you can change is the number of species. We call this number the coefficient. You're only allowed to change the coefficient, okay? So uh, these over here, these are subscripts. Subscripts. You're not allowed to change that. Not allowed to change that. That here, that's the coefficient. You are allowed to change that. We've seen this word coefficient before in your textbook. Um, it, it is the number, the first number in scientific notation. Coefficient in math, I think you may remember, just means the number that you multiply something by. 
the, the like the real the, the, the number what I mean not the variable but the constant number that you multiply something by that, that that's a coefficient here, let me give now uh, let me let me give you another example here in this next example I'm going to show you how my way of balancing chemical equations is different from Melissa Maribel's way of balancing chemical equations all right here's a an important chemical equation for uh, human civilization this chemical equation is the chemical reaction that allows us to produce industrial fertilizers, allowing us to feed uh, many of the people on the planet. Uh, to balance this, here's what I do. My method is called by inspection. I start over here at the leftmost side. I sit there, there's an H here. There are two H's. You see over here on the right side of the arrow, the product side, there are three H's. Okay, so I need there to be three H's here, but I can't because any number I put here is multiplied by two, so it's going to be an even number. So what is the common multiple that I can find for two and three? Well, uh, if I put a 3 here, that's going to make 6 hydrogens. So if I can make 6 hydrogens, hydrogens on this side by putting a 2 here. That's 6 hydrogens, 6 hydrogens. That's good. So I'm, I'm done with the H's. Now what about the N's? There are two N's here and there are two N's here. Oh, okay. So I'm done. This is balanced. right? So that is by inspection. You start at the left and you you just keep on going um, until you're done with the reactants. Right? So let, let me give you another example of something done by inspection. So this is going to be a much harder example. Um, barium hydroxide plus ammonium thiosulfate makes water. Um, uh, oops, water, ammonia, and barium thiosulfate. All right. Okay, uh, so here we go. By inspection. Uh, Hello. So I've got uh, BA here. That's one of them. And there's a 1BA over here. All right, that's good. Now I've got two OHs. Now water is the same as HOH, right? So I'm going to pretend that the water is HOH. Well, if I have two OHs, well, here I've got two OHs. And there's no place else in the products where I've got an O. There, there's a place for H, but not O, right? So uh, O seems to be locked up in the OHs. I've got two OHs here, so let me cause there to be two OHs over here. Now I have the NH4, right? So NH4, I've got one NH4, so I've got one NH3 here, all right? But then only have uh, one H over here. Huh. Well... <clears throat> There are two H's here. There are two extra H's. And I've got NH4. I don't have any extra H's elsewhere in here. I've already taken care of the OH's here. So the only way for me to get the extra H, I mean, the only way for me to use both H's here is if I were to have two of these. So if I put two of those, then two NH3's, can each one of these NH3s can take that extra H, one of, one of the extra H's here. So I'll have two NH4s, and that will give me two NH4s here. Also, the two uh, give, gives me two SCNs, and there are two SCNs right there. All right? So um, this, this is my way of doing this by inspection. is probably confusing to many of you. Um, I'm just not a very uh, used to doing it in Melissa Maribel's way, but I have provided Melissa Maribel's video for beginners. Her way is, uh, is, 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 uh, is better, right? But um, if you have some experience with balancing chemical equations from other courses, uh, you might prefer it uh, my way. Let me, let me give you one more example of my way, okay? Uh, let's see, uh, what about uh, the uh, decomposition of uh, uh, baking soda? So you, if you bake, with cookies, you use baking soda. You use the baking soda because when you heat the baking soda, it turns into these products in the cookie. The carbon dioxide causes bubbles, causing the cookie to 
have a crumb texture, you know, uh, and water. Okay, so let's balance this. There's one Na here. There are two Na's there. Right? That means I have to put a two here. There are two H's here now, and there are two H's here. That's good. There's one. C there, there are two C's here. Right? So I'm gonna need. Oh, there are two C's. There's one C here and one C here. That's two C's. And there are six O's here on the reactant side. So there's three O's, four, five O's, and six O's. So we're done. That's that's balanced. That's by inspection. Thank you.